Police have warned about the dangers of swimming in ponds and rivers after two people from the Angley region drowned over the weekend. A 30-year-old man drowned on Saturday night while swimming in a lake in Bedfordshire. And in Ipswich, 15-year-old Ashley Dawling drowned after swimming in a pond near Jovian Way on Saturday. A passerby heard his cries for help and he was rushed to Ipswich Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Meanwhile, Clacton's beach patrol team has sent out an urgent message to swimmers urging them not to go under the town's pier. Twice in the last week, swimmers have had to be rescued after they got into difficulties. Tendering District Council said there are hidden obstructions and strong currents under the pier. Cambridgeshire police say the number of people caught drink driving during the summer campaign has fallen. The campaign ran throughout June and saw 113 people arrested. That was compared to 133 the previous year. Officers conducted a series of stop checks as well as breath testing all motorists involved in collisions. Bedford Hospital has been free of the MRSA superbug for eight consecutive months. The hospital has also halved the numbers of Clostridium difficile infections every year for the past three years. One of the most environmentally friendly village halls is being built at Needis Head in Norfolk. It features walls made from straw bales, a grass-covered roof and a ground source heat pump. That's very modern, doesn't it? Right, uh, let's catch up with the weather now. Here's Rachel Mackley.